Oh, hey there, everyone. So we just got off the phone with one of our neighbors. He's retiring and wants to give us a great deal on a new tractor. The only issue is, is we still have to make the bank payment. It's the last day of summer. Uh, I think we might have to sell some grain. So let's get to it. So we'll jump into our gator. So we do have some grain that we can sell. Uh, I want to sell a little bit of our oats. Obviously we need to keep a little bit for our horses, but just seems we need to one, make a bank payment and we need to, we can't pass up a good deal on a tractor. I know, I know. We already got so many tractors, but basically what this guy wants for this tractor, we could basically sell it for more than we want. So let's get over here, park this. So we need to set up this uh, auger. Brand it, brand it. So, oops. Don't want to do that. Start this up. Uh, think about right there. That should be good. So we'll leave that running. horsepower we're gonna go grab our grain truck here Ooh, this is a tight fit uh, squeeze squeeze jump over there we go so we'll jump into our top kick drain truck here so we're in here in our grain truck here driving through our gate so we are going to take it over here to the auger. We're going to drive on our grass a little bit here, but that's okay. Uh, we already got that bin set up. There we go. There we go. I think we're good. Nope, we're not even close. There we go. Leave that girl running. Alright, so now we're filling up here. Everything looks like it's going good. Filling up pretty quickly. Go. Let's see how much we got. All right, so we got seven, almost 800, 760 bushels to be exact. Let's look forward here. All right, so we're going to take this down to the elevator. And I'll see you there. All right, so we're pulling up here to the grain elevator. It says we're good to dump. There we go. Let's see what we get off of this. Looks like we're actually getting pretty good. Ooh, we got some money in our pocket now. So... Let's get back, get another load loaded up, into the truck. Driving through the 
nice little driveway here to the elevator. I really like this view of all this. Alright. Drive out here to the road. There we go. Alright. Well, I'll see you back at the farm. So we're just pulling right underneath the grain auger here. There we go. It's filling us up already. Takes no time. Let's see, I think this will probably be the last load. So we'll do a little bit more filling. go. So we'll turn this off. Alright. So now let's get our last load over to the elevator. I will see you there. Alright, so we're just pulling in here to the grain elevator. There we go. Pulling in the driveway here. Not the easiest place to get around, that's for sure. So kind of in the backwoods here. But that's the story of this map. Kind of like it. Alright, so we just got on to the by the elevator. It's our turn to unload. The second load going out. Man, we are going to be rich now. Another $56,000. Alright, I'll see you back at the farm. Just pulling this truck back into our shed here. Make sure we don't hit anything. So now that we got the grain sold, we need to one go pay off the bank. So we'll go do that quickly. Then I need to go see the neighbor. going in the old Ford squad's truck here. Gonna go pay the neighbor off. Go down the road here. There we go. Man, is this road bumpy. Alright. I'll see you when I get back. All right, so we're just going, coming back from the bank. Now we need to hook up the gooseneck without breaking our suspension here with this road. So we'll go hook up the gooseneck and see if we like this tractor the neighbor's selling. So I know we buy a lot of tractors, but I'm just a tractor collector. You guys will have to forgive me. There we go. Power tailgates are the best thing in a truck. Don't you think so? Go. 
go. Alright. So let's... Now we got this hooked up. Now we gotta get to... Our neighbor's farm. On out of this driveway here. Take it a little slow so we don't high center. There we go. Woo! That's a hill there. Woo! Good thing it's a Ford. So, we really should get a one ton truck, but for this, but this is our most reliable truck on the farm. Just think this would probably be the best option if we end up purchasing this tractor. So we'll get over there and we'll see you when we get there. Alright, so we are just pulling in here. So here we go. Shut off the truck. So this is the tractor. The neighbor wants to sell. 8830 power shift. So let's take a good look at it. It's only so it's rear wheel drive. Motor looks pretty clean. I mean, you can't ask for anything more. So I believe this tractor was built in the late 80s or early 90s so pretty sure so power shift hmm this disc looks pretty interesting too I might have to ask him about this disc it's before we take too much let's look at everything he has over here TX 32 uh, we got a uh, plenty of combines Sprayer has seen the better days. So, that sprayer looked like it's got a little rust on it. Uh, pretty good planner. Don't think we need an 8350 planner, really, but planner's interesting, too. Let's take a look inside the cab. Alright, so... It looks like we got a... is that a quad shift? I believe so. I'm not... So we got... everything looks really clean in this tractor. Everything looks pretty clean. Let's turn this on. Pretty quiet in the cab. Hmm. Here's all the dash is working, everything. So let's pull this tractor out. Take a look at the hydraulics quickly. Let's see if make sure everything works. Man, you talk about a hydraulic pump on this thing. Look at this hydraulic pump. It'll break something with that. Man, that's quick. So everything pretty sounds pretty good. I think uh take it down the driveway here make sure nothing's broken everything looks pretty good I'm definitely interested in this tractor we're gonna have to talk a uh, price that's for sure just driving back up the driveway now. So, get this tractor back over and let's talk a final price with the neighbor. Alright, we'll pull it right here. 
go see if we could go talk to him quickly. All right, so the neighbor, he was a little camera shy, so he decided he didn't want to be on camera, but he wants 50k for that tractor. So he doesn't want to Jew down whatsoever, he just wants 50k. I think I want to look at it one more time. I, I think 50k is a good price, but I'm not positive. So seems like so this is a 230 horse tractor so 50k for that many ponies is a pretty good deal there's nothing wrong with it he said he's got it serviced every year by a professional so can't beat that so this is basically an old grandpa tractor that was has very I think I'll have to look Let's see so it only has 4,000 hours on it engine hours on it so that's a pretty good deal so it looks like it even has LED lights put on it so well I made my mind up I'm gonna get it so, I got it. Got a new Ford on the farm here, so 50 grand. I really was trying to get the disc into the deal, but he wanted another 10 grand for the disc, and it just wasn't uh, feasible now. Maybe later, if it's he still has it for sale, but not right now. So, let's get this disc put away for him. Get this over here. Back this disc up without hitting our truck there. There we go. The wrong turn. There we go. Alright, so now let's get this old tractor on our trailer. So we're just pulling this old tractor onto the trailer, taking it nice and slow. go we're gonna be overhanging a little bit so we definitely want to keep so we definitely want to keep it on the back two axles shut it down I think we got it in a good position that's pretty good to me so I may have to move it up slightly. Yep, I think I'm going to creep it up a little bit. Go. There we go. So let's get this back to the farm. Pulling this bad girl back up so squad's truck is having a little bit of difficulty with this so we really should have uh, had a one ton at least not a uh, two ton truck so we'll go take this back to the farm Pull this right here. You take it very easy down our driveway here. Go. Whew. It's 
Stay on there. Stay on there. Ooh, there we go. That was not the easiest task for this old F-250. Let's get it pulled over here. Start that old girl up. There we go. So, I want to put this tractor to work almost right away. So, I want to hook up to this chisel. So, if you guys don't remember, one of our grass fields I want to replant. So, that's what we're going to go do right now this up we go we go we're gonna take this down to this will be our smallest grass field so it's in our in the back area here pull this whole girl out of the gate here there we go Drive down. Start chiseling up some of our grass field. See how this tractor does because you gotta test out your tractors. Pull in over here. There we go. Uh oh guys didn't see nothing. Don't call the cops on me. Alright. So, let's see. Yep. Hydraulic's still working good on it. So, basically, outside pass, I'm going to want to Do outside the cab here. I want to chisel this grass up, so I know it's already pretty planted grass, but I just think it's a good idea to chisel this up so that way it'd be more easy for us to basically swap, take care of. So right now it's not considered a field. slightly widen this field but I don't want to get too crazy this tractors just pulling this implement with ease so while I'm going around with this tractor I wanted to talk to you guys so basically when you're playing farming simulator you get the options to load hundreds of mods so I want you to basically not do what I did and learn from my mistakes. So when you're downloading these mods, a good idea to do is load a mod one at a time. The reason why I say this is you can automatically check the air rate, uh, especially if you have developer mode activated. So you can check the load errors that the mod creates and all that. So, what happened to me was, I loaded a bad mod, so I won't say where or what, uh, you guys won't see that in my mod link, so let's just say that. Uh, loaded this mod, completely crashed my game, completely crashed my Windows driver, so I had to basically restart my whole computer. All my files, all that was saved, so it wasn't that big of an issue. It did create me a lot of extra work because when you're videotaping and all this, you have everything set up to a certain way that you like it, um, the way your viewers like it. So that's enough 
about that, but basically it created about six hours of work for me for one mod. The reason I say this is I want you all to be careful. One, of where you download these mods, and two, the mods that you do download. So that's why I'm saying it. Uh, not for you to feel pity on me, it's just, it was my mistake, so, it just, uh, I want to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistakes I do, so. Uh, another reason why I'm saying this is, I want you guys, because I didn't, uh, my, uh, recording device, everything, my volume control everything was messed up but I want you to make sure let me know how everything is set up for you guys to make sure that if you still like it just let me know otherwise I'm gonna time-lapse the rest of this for your bluing for your viewing pleasure I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place I'll go around the Highline poles and hopefully I'll be able to call what course play calls islands and have workers work around them. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. I almost can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel. Tractor sure drives smooth through this field. One small strip to go now. Alright, so we're just finishing up here, folding up this implement. We're turn our blinkers on there. So we are headed back to the farm, so I'm really impressed with our new workhorse here on the farm. So definitely probably going to be promoted to a lot of jobs here. I do like in this old tractor. Unfortunately, our neighbor's retiring. Maybe we could buy some land from them. So it's that's an option. Could be a possibility. So I'm going to get this back to the farm. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here on Automotes. Thank you all for watching, like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.